In this video I'll be going through paper one of the 2015 um, KCSE maths exam. So uh, the paper in total has 24 questions, there are 16 questions in section one and in section two there are eight questions. So uh, let's start. The first question we're given is for one mark and it asks us evaluate um, 540,396 minus 726,450 divided by 3. To answer this question we need to remember bod mass um, which is brackets over division, multiplication, addition and subtraction and that tells us that we need to answer this part of the question first. So we need to do the division first and then with the answer that we get from the division um, we can do the subtraction. So it's just simply a case of um, I would always put do I would always do this in stages so I would divide 726,450 by 3 first and then I would with that answer that I get from the calculator um, I would subtract that from this other number here. Um, but of course you can put them into the calculator at the same time, but do remember that you have to have the brackets around the division part. So I put this into my calculator, and for the first part, when I put this into my calculator, 726,450 divided by 3, I get the answer 242,150. And then I need to subtract that from 540,396. And the answer I get when I do that subtraction, 298,246. So that's the answer to question 1A. Question 1B asks us, Write the total value of the digit in the thousands place of the result obtained in A. So, um, okay, so to look at this, we got the answer 298246. And this is a question that asks us about place values. So we know this is the ones column or the units column. We know this is the tens. This is the hundreds. And this here is the thousands. So we have eight in the thousands place. But they want to know the total value, so we have to do we have to times eight by a thousand, which gives us eight thousand. So that's the answer to one B, eight thousand. So let's move on to the second question. Um the second question is Muya had a six and two thirds hectare piece of land. He donated seven eighths hectares, seven eighth hectares to a school and one and a half hectares to a children's home. The rest of the land was shared equally between his son and daughter. Find the size of the land that each child got. Okay, so we need to child got. Okay, so we need to work out how much each child is getting. So uh, Muya starts off with six and two thirds. He gives away, which is um, seven eighths, which means that's a subtraction. And he gives away another one and a half. That's another subtraction. And the answer that we get from here is the rest of the land that he had remaining. And since he shared it equally between his son and his daughter, the answer that we get here will have to be divided by two. So um, this is a question of fractions. And so to divide this easily, we're going to have to convert these into um, equivalent fractions. So fractions over the same denominator. So this here is equal to, if you remember how we do that, we times this integer here by the denominator and then we add that to the numerator and then we all put that over, we put that all over the denominator. Um, so let's, try, let's first turn these from mixed fractions into top heavy fractions and then from top heavy fractions into equivalent fractions. So we have six times by three that is 18 plus 2, so we have 20 over 3, minus 7 over 8, minus 3 over 2. That's 1 times 2 plus 1, which is 3. Okay, and then let's make these into equivalent fractions. So let's see, so in order to make them into equivalent fractions, we need to find out out of 3, 
out of three, eight, and two, what is their lowest common multiple? Um, the lowest common multiple of these numbers here is 24. So we're going to put them all over 24, and you can do this all as one big fraction since they're all over the same denominator. So here we'd have, um, to, to make this this here, the, three o, the 20 over 3, sorry, out of 24, we need to times both the top and the bottom by 8. So we have 160 over 24, take away times, so for 7, 8, we need to times the top and the bottom by 3. So we have 21 minus 21. And then for 3 over 2, we need to times the top and the bottom by 12. So minus 36. So I'm going to rub some of this out so we have more space to do our work in. And then I'll just move this here over to this side. So we need to do 160 minus 21 minus 36. That gives us 100 and 3 over 24 and that's what he has left after he donates um, the piece of land to the school and the piece of land to the children's home and to find out and we know that he shares it equally between his son and his daughter this amount that he has left so we need to divide this by 2 so 103 over 24 divided by 2 is the same as doubling the denominator so we get 103 over 48 that's our answer the next question, number three, is the volume of a cube is 1,728 centimetres cubed. Calculate corrected two decimal places and the length of the diagonal of the face of the cube. Okay, so a good thing to do is to draw out the cube. Since it's a cube, um, we know that each of the faces will be of equal length. Um, so we know that volume of a cube is equal to L cubed, where L is the length of a side, and we know all sides are equal. So to find out, and we know the volume in this case is 17 to 8. So to find out the length, we need to find the cube root of 1,728. And the cube root of 1,728 is... 12. So we know the length of one side here is 12. Um, the question then the question asks us to find out the length of a diagonal. So a diagonal here, let's call this diagonal x. And we know this length here is 12 and we know this length here is 12. So this is going to require us to use some Pythagoras and we know Pythagoras' theorem states that um, a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared, uh, where um, a squared here is this diagonal here. So that means that x squared is equal to 12 squared plus 12 squared. So to find out x, um, we find the square root of um, 12 squared plus 12 squared. And that is the same as the square root of 288, which is equal to 16.972 decimal places 